environmental issues, global warming, there's a lot of talk of what the problems are. It's extremely important that we teach people about what we're doing, not just the staff and administration and the faculty, as well as the students, but the wider community. Is there global warming, is there not? Yes, there is. Now that there is, now we have to do something about it. You know, if you look at the past, campuses have always been at the forefront of social change and big movements for change. And right now, global warming, that's the issue of our generation. And so we think that we can, if we can get our campuses to go green, they'll set the, the tone for everything, you know, the rest of the country. Our board of trustees adopted our, their sustainable policy in 2002. And at that point in time, there were only a handful of LEED certified buildings in the whole United States. And barely anybody knew what LEED meant at that point in time. And for our board to take this multi-billion dollar program and committed to a sustainable pathway at that point. Nobody else had done that. I think that because of the solar panels that gives us, you know, we're saving that money, whatever we're not paying for the electricity, for funds for our school and things we can use for our school. We have a big group of faculty, as you may know, about 40 of them that have really kind of got the, yeah. the you know, the spirit. Exactly. And so what we have to do now is um, encourage them, facilitate it. And I think students start picking up on those things. I mean, they see what we're doing here and it's just sort of like, sinks into their skin. Next week we're having bike day and that's to promote alternative modes of transportation. A recycling program where we're going to put boxes in or um, recycle bins in every classroom. They realize they're living in a place that is an environmentally sensitive like a laboratory almost. Right. Students will learn from the environment they are in about how to be environmentally sensitive. The lily pond that's behind us is a single pool of water that they aerate and not adding to the existing problems. And so it shows how you can actually have plants flourish and animal life flourish. And yet again, you're not really depleting resources by doing it. This amazing place of you know greenness and sustainability, that really is the hallmark of our program for the district. The transformation that we're about is leading the nation in changing and showing examples of sustainability. Recycle the old stuff that they're putting in. Sustainable development seems to be the key word.